First rinse. Uh, this makes the intermittent spin after the wash. But don't worry, it didn't just lock or anything. So it's just a regular acrylic spin. By the way, it's the middle of summer and we've got typical British weather. Proper British weather. It's raining. And it's and it is summer. So no you can't put on your washing out and you've got to put all them dry. So no you can't save energy, no you can't save money, it's more damaging to the environment. Where are the British summers gone now? Ten past five, and it's really it's really dark because it is raining. Still wondering what, what washing machine to buy next. People give me some ideas. There are a few rules though. It's got to be at least a 1600 spin. Have at least a 6 kilo load. Although it would be better if it was 7 kilo. Have a good range of programs and options. And must be... Uh, well built. So that rules out in the set and that's it though. <laughs> I don't mind what pressure it would be. So far it's between an AEG and a Mealy. I want to say a Mealy, I mean the most expensive one there is. Cost 1300 quid, I think, and the most expensive domestic freestanding washing machine there is. The most expensive washing machine there is is a built in Mealy, which costs nearly two grand. But I don't know. 
and that for it, that built-in melee is a basically a WPS 3922. However, what I'm after is a WPS 3985. I wonder where they get their numbers from because they seem to have no no meaning to them at all I mean take take my washing machine for example WT960 the, the W stands for washer the T stands for um, the technical technical advances one I mean it's an ultimate if it was an F, it would mean an Aquarius. Uh, the 9 stands for uh, the series. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. To give you a little clue on that, basically, if it's an odd number, it's um, it has washing hands. But if it's an even number, it doesn't have washing hands. Instead, it has time saver. Uh, Obviously, the num that number, being higher it is, the uh, more upper class it is. The 6 stands for the 100 RPM. So, if it was 900, it would mean a 1,000 spin uh, WT, 1,000 uh, spin uh, Ultima. Wow. There's a wall flock in that then. And so we've got to WT96. Zero stands for which mark it is. This is the Mark 1 version. Now there is no Mark 2 version of this Ultima, however, there is Mark 2 versions of the Aquarius. All the Aquarius versions and um, the Seven Series Ultimas. By the way, does anyone think that the the motor noise is different nowadays on? the washer. I'm not talking about any of like my previous videos, but when I did that towels one the other day. When you got to the second intimate spin, it sounded different. And it looks looks that slow, doesn't it? So like I say, where do Melee get their modern like, numbers from? 